If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, i am be going over the best ways to build a no-money-spend team in Madden 22. Now, I do know that no-money-spend is going to be super popular this year, and it already is primarily because it is harder to get coins this year than in years past which honestly isn't exactly a a fully contextual like statement right there and i'll explain why if you've been playing since madden 13 or since madden 12 or madden 11 i always forget one of the years was like a dead year of ultimate team where they kind of tried to start and it wasn't a thing yet maybe madden 12 maybe madden 11 anyways if you've been playing since then you know that getting coins hard get coins coming easy was never a thing we are spoiled Madden players. Ha quarter game solos is never a thing. Nowadays, you play quarter solos. You know, we play 20 solos in the third or fourth quarter for a free 87 overall player and like 50,000 coins, right? And packs. Back in Madden 13, guys, I used to play full game solos on like all Madden difficulty. Really hard to win, actually, at the time. With barely a team. And it, your, your reward would be like 1,000 coins for the solo. 500 coins i used to i used to play 20 games straight save 20k to buy a player you know how long that was so no money spent although this year seems harder no it seems more like you need to be no money spent this year because of how hard coins are to get and stuff like you got to really go hard no, you got to try harder this year than it has been in years past it honestly is a bit more realistic and i kind of like it a bit more because when they just give away coins the game gets oversaturated and i get it it's not fair to everyone but i i mean i want more coins myself but i but it's cool it's not to have to work for the coins. It gives the game objective. I'm a very competitive person. And when things are just handed to me, I get bored. Last Madden, you would get a few million coins just from grinding at your, your, your level of grind, right? Things were just handed out. And it was like, oh, okay, there's no objective to this. It's like pretty much play online. And if the, only, the only winning factor I would get or winning drive I would get would be playing online. And it wasn't the same. Anyways, get into the video, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Like the video. If you guys need coins, head on down below to muttreserve.com and use code Poodle for 15% off. Shout out to DLW for the Poodle Squad shout out today. And if you want to be shouted out on the Poodle Squad, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad and turn on the Noti Bell. So guys, my first tips for a no money spent team, always leverage the missions tab and leverage every, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta juice this, juice the game. You gotta get everything out of the game that you could possibly get. You cannot left, you cannot leave one stone unturned, right? What I mean by that is, when you're no money spent, if there's a free player to be had, if there's free power-ups to be gotten, if there's free coins to get, you do them. Example, guys, if you're a no money spent player, you're coming over to Legend and you're doing every solo right now. Why is that? If you play every solo, you get 2,000 coins. Also, Legend Release 1, if you play all these guys, uh, play all these, you end up with 8 power-ups as well as 4 no novice players, which is their base player in the set. You can then go ahead, guys, and sell all eight of those powers for about three to four K each, which is 32,000 coins, plus the 2K you got, which is 34K. Plus, you can take those novice 82 overall players and you can go to sets and you can come on over to exchange and then come over to, uh, where is it? Player exchange. And you can come over to an 83 to 84 overall player and you can go like that and you could throw in your novice legends. Like my Bruce Matthews and my DeMarcus Ware. Now, I actually did do the sets for Darrell and for Ed Reed, so my, I used some of them already. But if you're not going to make those players, you can go ahead and put them in and get an 83 to 84 overall player, which you can then sell for 30 to 40K. Suddenly, because you played all those solos, you went from 34K to 34 more K, which you end up with about 68,000 coins. Doesn't take long at all. Not full game solos. Trust me. Very easy to do. So there you go. That is one option to go ahead and get 68,000 coins just from playing an easy solo sequence. So that's what I mean by milk it. People look at those things like, ah, I don't need the Legend Solos. Also, guys, the Legend Solos come with tokens. If you get all eight tokens, you put them into this set over here, and you'll be able to get a free boss legend at some point in the year as you keep doing your Legend Solos. So there you go. You're going you're gonna to want that card because a few months from now, your no-money-spent team is going to be low on coins, right? And you're going to be trying to get that next big player, and you're going to have this pack ready to go. And you're going to open up and be like, damn. Th Thankfully, I was reminded to do that back then, right? So... No money spent is all about milking the game, right? So, you, so right there, off one solo sequence, you can convert, 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 and juice coins out of it. Second, guys, you get a you get a campaign. Oh, you got you got that campaign player pack, right? Where you get to get the seventy five overall. Take a guy that you know that's gonna last in your team, right? Don't take just anyone. Take a guy you know that's gonna last. Like let's say you think Jair Alexander has that potential to last all year. Build him. He's gonna be nap. You're gonna get him for like a fraction of the price. It's worth taking take advantage of every ounce of things you can get. Nap players are your biggest friend. I don't care if you can't sell them. One more thing, do not go for the flashy cards. 
What do I mean by that? People, no money spent teams can't have the luxury of getting who they want. They need to get who they need. Remember that want versus needs. Guys who have got squads and they spend a lot of money on packs can get who they want, right? As a Giants fan, let's say, I may prefer myself a Lawrence Taylor at outside linebacker or a Saquon Barkley at running back over everyone. So when the new Lawrence Taylor drops and he's 600K, I may pay it. But guys, there may be a superstar MVP Von Miller fully powered up, let's say with threshold. Again, he's trying to trash, but just an example. If Lawrence Taylor has all the thresholds, and that's it. But there's a there's a there's a cheaper linebacker that came out like one release ago, and he's only like 150k, and he has threshold as well, and he has abilities. Yes, Lawrence Taylor may be better, but it's not 400k better. It's like maybe 50k to 100k better. So it's not. Make sure you always cont uh, contextualize like what is the value to be gained from what you're actually doing. You look here, right? Ed Reed and Brandon Marshall, they have dropped in price a little bit. They are still really good, right? They're the two best players probably in the game right now. Safety, like safety wide receiver duo, like that, they're the two best here. But can you, is it worth on a no money spent team spending 300K for one player? Remember, as a no money spent player, you're going to have deficiencies all around the field. The last thing you want to do is put all your coins in one basket because I promise you, Ed Reed isn't rushing the passer. He's not defending the mid zones and he's also not going to be blitzing. He's going to be maybe your user, which is good, but maybe you don't have the luxury of getting a user with 90 speed and 90 overall. Instead, guys, you get a Darnell Savage, 87 speed, but he's free from the solos. You just saved 300k. Brandon Marshall, I think Brandon Marshall is saying I actually do think he's worth it. But again, maybe you're better off just getting three good wide receivers across. We're taking your free Randy Moss, going across. You, the worst thing you could do is no money spent player is, is oh another thing, do not buy the hype. Back to the Lawrence Taylor example, or Ed Reed. Right? Ed Reed was 400k the first two days he was out. People were flying in to buy him, right? flying into buying if you had just waited four more days five more days he went down almost 100k why is that it's very simple people buy hype people think you you need this card you do but then more players get on the game throughout the week some people start to buy them some people start to sell them when they realize it was too much coins and before you know it the market stabilizes and he's really around a 295 299 price tag that's how that works now in my opinion the reason you don't buy hype is because if you really need that Lawrence Taylor, he won't be 600K forever. Eventually, he'll be like 350. Just wait on him. It's no money spent play. Again, God squads and people with millions of coins to spare. I don't care. I'll lose the 100K in reduction. I'll lose the 150K when he drops off. I don't care. No money spent guys have to be a little patient and just bite the bullet and wait a few more days. And now you get him at 299. Again, it's still a tough pill to swallow, but it's definitely better than paying almost 400K for him. So that's another thing. Never buy hype. It sucks, right? On Twitter, YouTube, everyone's like, oh my God, the new, the new Lamar Jackson's coming out. You have to have him, right? They need him. You don't. You want him. Remember that. Because you get that new Lamar Jackson, you and then you go to work, right? That's the best part. I always love that. When you buy that new Lamar Jackson for 600 k you're like, I secured him. And you're out of coins. Okay, I got to go to work. You turn your Xbox off. You come home. You're with the wife. You're with the girlfriend. You're with whatever, whatever you're doing, right? And then you can't play that night either. And the next day you got work again. Then you're like, okay, you log back on Thursday. All right, I'm ready to go. So you went two days. You, you had to buy him early, right? You never used him and you log on Thursday and he's 600k and you paid a million coins for him, right? And you're like, huh, if I, I could have just waited, I never even used him. That I, I could not tell you how often that happens to myself and everyone else. You buy a card knowing that you probably can't play for a few days, right? Probably. Or, you, or you're about to get off for the night for school and you're like, I need to buy my, I, I can't go to bed at night unless he's in my lineup. And you get home from school the next day and you're like, okay, I lost 200k. I'm telling you, do not buy off hype. It is one of the biggest killers. Oh, uh, guys, free players, free players are huge. Level up grind is huge. Level up grind, you want to make sure you get this list done. You want to be doing your objectives, guys. Your daily objectives are important. Getting your XP and getting your easy coins. You want to be doing the superstar objectives, getting your XP and getting your easy coins. These XPs will convert to Ultimate Season Reward, which you want to get, 10K coins. Power packs, power pass packs are your best friends. You want to have the Devin Hester fully powered up. You want to get these strategy card items. You're going to need those. You want the rare strategy item. You want these free packs. And of course, most importantly, you want a free 86 George Kittle because that George Kittle will be the best tight end in the game right along with Pitts for a decent amount of time. Free player, 91 overall, probably be the best player in your team for a while, right? These uh, these season champion, these season to ultimate season champions per season of level 1 to 50 are going to be super important for your team. So make sure you are going ahead and getting the power grind out. Now, there's fast ways to grind out solos. There's other ways to go about it. I personally want to do the objectives, but if you guys need it as fast as possible, you can't always just spam a solo. Second, Cam Chancellor. 
Nothing is better than having a 95 overall safety on a no money spent team. You want to be sure you want to be grinding out. So for me personally, I've been repeating solos. I've been paying the past solos, doing all that stuff. Guys, I'm almost there, right? I'm at 64% here. The rushing one, I really haven't touched too much. I'm almost at 90% here. I'm at 80% there, 44% there, 6, 7% there. I'm a little over. I'd say I'm around the 50% mark if you average it all out. I'm getting there, guys. 95 overall player will be the highest overall on your team for a no money spent guy, at least until after Christmas. He'll, he'll give a big leg up on your team. He'll be an anchor in your defense. Exactly why go buy Ed Reed when you can just get Darnell Savage for free and then get Cam Chancellor as that Ed Reed guy, right? Keep that in mind. He's going to be faster than everyone else. He's going to be a big leg up. So definitely grind that out because nobody spent teams need advantages everywhere they can get them. And this is definitely one of them. But guys, with that being said, I think I covered everything. Um, Don't touch packs. No money spent guys like to work hard for their coins and then go, just one pack, just one pack. Just pa pa the house always wins. The only time you win with packs is when you spend money on them. And did you really win when you spend money on virtual um, non-tangible cards? Did you really win? That, that's like, you know what I mean? Like if, if you open a game changer pack with coins or a legend pack of coins and you pull the LTD Bo Jackson, you won. Are you going to? Highly unlikely. Now, if you opened up with money and you, you triple your coin stack, did you win? Virtually, but you didn't really win. So don't touch packs. Packs are good for uh, enjoyment. Packs are good for content creators. Packs are good for people who actually enjoy packs. Don't open packs because you think you're going to hit big, right? Don't don't think packs are a lot of ticket. They're not. Some people like packs. They genuinely get excited from packs. I know people who don't want to buy coins because they actually think packs are just fun, which I get it. I do. So buy packs if you actually like packs. Don't buy packs if you think it's a, it's a lot of ticket. Like it's going to it's gonna get you out the hole and, and build your team. It's not, especially with your own coins. Trust me. You're better off using those 60K to snipe and work your coin stack up to 150 and hoping you're going to open a pack and pull a Devontae Adams real quick and double your stack or pull a Derrick Henry or Jalen Ramsey or an Aaron Donald. Trust me, YouTubers open up thousands of dollars worth of packs and how often do they pull Aaron Donald? Once? You're not opening thousands. You're opening 1% of that 1,000. That's it for the video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any more direct questions, DM me on Twitter or comment them down below. I will get back to you. Smash the like button. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you need coins, head over to my reserve down below and use code PUDA at checkout. 15% off your order. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.